Hi, I am Tammy Allen here at RadFest, and I am so pleased I am here with Jose Cordero. Close enough? Close enough? And he wears so many hats. I'm just going to go ahead and let you tell us all about what you do and what we can hope for the future all the way up to 2045 and then even after. Um, well, yes, my name is Jose Cordeiro. My family is originally from Spain. I grew up in South America, in Venezuela, and then I work internationally in the USA, in Europe, in Asia, uh, with the Millennium Project that began as the futuristic part of the United Nations. And also I am with different universities, uh, Singularity University in California, my alma mater, MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and universities in Moscow, in uh, um, Seoul, South Korea, and Tokyo, Japan. Wow. So I. That's a lot of uh, credentials there. How, how long did it take you? Just curious. Um, well, I, I am a traveling academic now, oh. taking ideas about what is happening in the world, how technology is changing, and how humanity is going to live much better thanks to the exponential technologies. Now that's the part that I know that all of our, everybody wants to really know about how we're going to live better, how easy is it going to be, is it going to be for everybody, what is your general opinion about that? Well, all technologies when they begin, they are very expensive and very bad. <laughs> Think of the first mobile telephones. So you're saying that the people that have a lot of money are the guinea pigs? Yes, they are. They are. <laughs> and thanks to them, technologies become cheaper and better. So like today, everybody everywhere has a mobile telephone, everywhere, even in Africa, in India, everybody today really has a, a mobile phone. Obviously not the small children or maybe the very old people because they don't want it or, or they don't feel that they know how to use it, but most everybody, Africa, India, Latin America, China has a mobile telephone and obviously the USA, Europe. Here even small children. Okay, and sometimes they have two, yeah. not, not only one uh, mobile phone. So technologies are um, changing exponentially, all of them, not only information technology, biotechnology, um, which is related to medicine. Um, in fact, I'm very excited about um, medicine changing because in the future medicine will no longer be curative. Medicine will be preventive medicine. So we will actually cure diseases before they happen, so you will not suffer from the disease. And one of these terrible diseases is aging. I consider with many of my colleagues that aging is a disease, but it is a curable disease. And we will control the age of our bodies, the age of our cells, the age of our organs. We will stop the aging process, like it already happens with some cells, like um, germinal cells, in our bodies, the reproductive cells, they do not age. Mm. And the same cancer. Cancer to me is the most interesting disease because cancer is a mutation that stops the aging process of the cell. That is why cancer is so dangerous because it doesn't die on its own. It grows, it, just keeps growing. it reproduces, it grows, and it does not die. So we need to kill cancer because we are the food of the cancer. Wow. Uh, because it's a very interesting mutation that stops aging. So for people who do not believe that uh, stopping aging and even immortality is not possible, I say, well, it already, it already happens. And, and the best cells, the germinal cells and the stem cells, they basically do not age. So the proof that this is possible is the best cells, germinal cells, and the worst cell, cancer cells. So now scientists, I, I'm very optimistic. I think in 10, 15, 20 years, we will understand how aging happens, how to stop aging, and how to rejuvenate the cells, the body, the organs. And we can live indefinitely at a very young age. We might be living um, 1,000 years, but not like an old person, you know. Right. That, that would not be any fun. We, we, quality of life. Yes. So we are going to live uh, thousands of years in good condition. That's very exciting. And what do you think about, about how long can people start to look for these really big changes that are going to make life so much better? How, how, I guess give me an estimate. 
Well, there are different uh, technology waves. They come like in waves. The first one in this new world was um, with computers, uh, internet, information technologies. That is already happening. Everybody's connected. Everybody has a mobile telephone. Actually, it is still getting better. Um, we estimate that in two to three years, we will actually have free internet throughout the planet. Free internet. This, this will be revolutionary. Everybody will have access to all the information. This is the complete democratization of knowledge. Then there is a second wave, which is biotechnology, that is already beginning, like uh, thanks to the sequence of the human genome, and then you will understand which diseases you might have genetically and how to avoid those diseases. And soon we will discover the mutations that stop aging, like it happens in cancer cells. So this is happening now, five years, 10 years, 15 years. We are going to have another wave of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is basically arranging matter at the atom by atom level. So, so we will be able to create almost anything at perfection, atom by atom. Nothing more, nothing less. Everything at perfection. And this will be fantastic because there will be no garbage anymore. There will be no pollution because even the concept of garbage will disappear. There will be no garbage, only raw materials in the wrong place. That, that is extremely exciting to me because I have been thinking that that was going to be the case. I mean, just there's, a, there's an instinct within me that has always believed in that. And that's why I'm very excited about Singularity University, and I've been personally following that for a while, because you're actually helping people to solve those problems and encouraging entrepreneurship and inventors and everything. What is your, um, like, how do you help Singularity University and how do you help the young people move forward? And how can, if we have, you know, inventors out there or entrepreneurs, how can they get involved? Um, well, Singularity University is a very uh, singularitarian and singular institution. First, because it is not really a university in the traditional sense. And second, because it is not about the singularity. The singularity is the time when artificial intelligence reaches human intelligence. And Singularity University is not just about that. It is about all the exponential technologies, like biotechnology, nanotechnology, robotics, space travel, uh, renewable energy, so all the new technologies of the future. Also, it is not a traditional university because the courses, the programs are very short. The long programs are three months. The short programs are one weekend, one week. So uh, the participants, we do not call them students anymore, they are participants. Uh, they come and they learn all the technologies. And because uh, Singularity University is located in Silicon Valley, in California, you see all these fantastic te technologies. Uh, we visit many other companies in Silicon Valley, obviously Google, Facebook, uh, Yahoo, LinkedIn, uh, uh, Uber, all the technolo technologies based uh, companies in, in the Bay Area, in Silicon Valley, Northern California. And, and so they learn about what will happen in the next few years. What these huge companies, Apple, what are they planning for the future? Uh, which are their strategies? And so uh, we learn also, I, I keep on learning all the time, huh? especially also in energy because California is a world leader in renewable energy in terms of uh, solar energy. Well, Tesla Motors uh, is located in Silicon Valley. And then um, Solar City, which is also for solar panels, and now storage also together with uh, Tesla Motors. So incredible technologies that will revolutionize the world and we will move from a world of scarcity into a world of abundance. We believe in abundance because we will be able to do so much more with so much less. We will increase our productivity levels. We will also use advanced technologies like robotics, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, nanotechnology to basically produce almost anything very, very cheaply for everybody. I have to tell you, just I've been following these things and just having you say that, feeling your passion, it's giving me chill bumps right now. So no need to worry about the future, right? It's, it's so bright. And, and how can people prepare themselves for this new world? Well, we don't need to uh, worry about the future because if we don't... Uh, no, because we need to prepare, we need to think about it, and, um, and we need to educate ourselves to open uh, our brains, our minds, uh, because this will change also the human condition. Uh, like myself, I believe in 20, 
to 30 years, we will cure aging. So like we will probably be immortal basically. We will not age. This will radically change all paradigms. What will happen when we can live indefinitely in good condition, healthy conditions with uh, uh, so many resources because we are moving into abundance from a scarcity into abundance even though it might be difficult to understand now because our mentality is a mentality of a scarcity uh, but uh, we will be able to produce so many things thanks to technology and not only in our tiny planet we will move into space in 10 years we are going to be colonizing Mars this is fantastic we are leaving our little planet going into space finally I can tell you probably have a hard time sleeping because you're so excited, right? Yeah, I mean the future is so exciting. Uh, I always like to say in the next 20 years we are going to see more changes than in the last 2,000 years. I repeat, in two decades yeah. more changes than in two millennia. And good changes, positive changes. Well, I am so happy that you have uh, are, are opening our minds to the new possibilities because that is half the battle. But I think people are ready for it, and uh, we're just happy that you're here sharing with us today. And I look forward to following your, your path and all of the wonderful technologies. And thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful.